So you've set up your mister, you're ready to play some games, you invite your friend over, he brings the pizza, you're ready to play some two-player arcade action, only to find out that player two's controls don't work. Oh boy. So the problem you're having is that the buttons on your arcade controls are actually set up like a computer keyboard. They're literally seen as keys on a keyboard in your mister. It's not the same thing like having uh, controllers such as these wireless 8-bit do controllers where they're mapped as actual game controls. Those are a lot easier to set up. There is a little finagling you do need to do with the Mr. INI file in order to get your mister set up properly with your iPack controls. So here's how we're gonna do this. Follow me. Okay, let's make sure we've first taken care of the back end of things. Be sure you have formatted your micro SD card to FAT32, that you've applied the Mr. Update to your micro SD card after formatting, and then you wanna take an update script such as RetroDriven's Update Suite, which is very convenient. You want to take that file and put it in the scripts folder of your micro SD card. Once you're done with that, we're going to take it out and put the micro SD card in the mister. From here, using a USB keyboard connected to your mister, I want you to go to system settings. I want you to go down to scripts. And then select retro driven update suite. From the Retro Driven Mister Update Suite, I want you to go down to Run Essential plus Optional Scripts, and then I want you to walk away for about 10 to 15 minutes while it updates. Alright ladies and gentlemen, now comes the most crucial part of the video, setting up the controls. So, once again, go into System Settings. I want you to go to Define Joystick Buttons, and then press right on the joystick, and right from there, you're gonna see your joystick ID number. What I want you to do is take a photo of that number with your phone, or just write down that joystick ID number. From there, we're gonna shut off the mister, take the micro SD card out of it, and now we're gonna put the micro SD card back into the PC. Okay, now I want you to browse the micro SD card for the Mr. INI file. That's gonna be right at the root of the folder. I want you to scroll down and find JAMA SD JPAC IPAC keys to joysticks translation. And from there, you're gonna change the variables of JAMA vid JAMA PID and change those numbers to the ID of your joystick. Once you change the variables on the JAMA vid and PID settings to match your controller ID, I want you to take out the micro SD card and put it back in the mister. We will no longer be needing the PC from this point forward. Okay guys, time for the final step. When you turn on your mister, I want you to press escape on your USB keyboard, which will take you to system settings, and go down to define joystick buttons once again. From there, press enter, and then press right on your joystick. So now I'm gonna map this out accordingly. So right, left, down, up, now. Um, obviously this is a layout that's very similar to like Super Nintendo, uh, so it's like a Super Nintendo controller. We're going to map this out accordingly. So this is going to be A, B, X, Y, L, and R. Select the coin one button, start coin two. Now I'm not going to need any of this. I'm going to bypass this. The menu button, for me, I'm going to actually press, I have a menu button on here, I'm going to press, let me do it with this hand, I'm going to press this, that's the menu. 
I'll press space bar. And press space bar again. I don't need any of this. And that's it. And hopefully now, everything should work nicely. And because I have things, because I followed those instructions, now with my iPack keyboard here, not keyboard, I'm sorry, uh, well it's kind of like a keyboard, but because this is an iPack arcade stick, player two should respond. All the button mappings that I have on player one should have mapped over to player two. How do we find out that this works? It's very simple. Let's load up Neo Geo. That's probably the ultimate test. So I'm gonna go to console. Oops, wrong button. B, uh, A, whatever, <laughs> Super Nintendo controls. I'm gonna go into console, A, that's it, that's how you enter it. I'm gonna go all the way down to Neo Geo right here, load that up. And we're just gonna test this out. So, uh, let's just set up, let's define the Neo Geo buttons. Right, left, down, up. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna do this a little differently because this is a six button setup. Normally, for Neo Geo, you'd, uh, the natural way that I would have done this beforehand was making this A, B, C, and D, but I think because this is a six button layout, not an eight button layout, it makes more sense for me to do A, B, C, and D. And for start, I'm pressing the start button, select is going to be, let's see here, I have this layout here, it's like it's going to be enter, and coin one is coin. This ABC button, uh, I don't know, I don't like it, I'm going to skip it, I don't want it as part of the layout, press enter then, and there's only one last thing to do, and that's to test out Neo Geo two-player controls. So let me save these settings, and let's load up a game, uh, a game that uses all four buttons, uh, any fighting game really, let us choose Samurai Showdown, two is fine, and let's see how this works. Alright, so, let's now try pressing our coin button, there we go, it's fine, I'm going to press start. And um, let me press start on to player 2, okay, that's good, player 2 start worked out, let's choose Mitsurugi, and just for the sake of choosing a different character, I like this guy also. I think this is going to be good. And I'm just going to do a quick test to verify that everything is set correctly here. So, let's give this a shot. A, B, C, and D. A, B, C, and D. That's it. The very control setup that I did to player one has now been transferred over to player two. That's all there is to this. Guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I uh, suggest that you give this a shot on your arcade machines. Let me know if this works. If it doesn't, don't shoot the messenger. I just really was following the instructions on the Mr. GitHub. So, uh, but th this should work. So, uh, that's it. I hope this takes care of your concerns with your arcade controls. And have a great time playing your Mr. on your arcade machine. Take care, guys. I'll speak to you later. Thank you for watching Console Vision. 
If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash Ronnie Snice.